Something bad happened in Lumin Legacy, and for today's video, I want to talk all about it. It's very unusual for Lumin Legacy to make a mistake like this, and personally, I learned something new about the situation. I will say, however, I was fully informed about this situation by Lucky HD, so thanks to him for bringing this situation up to light. Also, the situation is very sad to an extent as well, because of the immense backlash that Lucky ended up receiving for talking about it, which was very unwarranted. He was simply pointing out something, so if you're one of the people harassing him, stop it. Anyways, it all began with a tweet around 14 hours by Lucky HD that said the following. Lucky basically said, Gamma Boneki is cool, but uh, and then he attached these two images. Number one, do not wear black. Never wear clothes in black during the Chinese New Year because it is typically worn during funerals. And then he also showed this message. There are a number of taboos for the Chinese community when celebrating Chinese New Year. One of them cannot wear monochrome or black and white clothes. Why did Lucky suddenly point out this out of nowhere? Well, because of this. Gamma Boneki literally is wearing dark clothing. The only dark clothes that Boneki is wearing is on the top part of the dress. The pants and shoes are not dark, so looking at Boneki wearing a dark dress is very interesting as I just informed that you shouldn't be wearing any black clothes during Chinese New Year's, yet the Gamma Boneki reskin is clearly wearing dark clothing. I did see a Looming Legacy developer mention that this is the year of the Black Rabbit, however the developer said that the clothing should probably get adjusted to remove the black. He then followed up by mentioning how he hopes the rabbit stays black, but that hopes the dress of it changes, as it is a rare occasion for it to be the year of the Black Rabbit. I definitely agree that this is the approach the Looming Legacy should clearly be taking to handle this situation, just pretty much changing the color of the dress and leaving everything else untouched. Something about the situation that also caught my attention is the immense backlash and the immense hate that Lucky HD is taking just for pointing this out. A tweet that Lucky HD responded to basically said, I think it's hilarious that no Chinese people complained, but an American white male thinks it's his duty to change something that doesn't really matter. And then Lucky responded to this message by saying, I don't really see why you're bringing my race into this. However, I brought this to the attention as I saw other people who of which celebrate this tradition say that it should be changed. I use my platform to push forward these voices so that these complaints can be heard. I really don't get it as this is a legitimate concern concern being brought up by Lucky, you know, we as YouTubers have to use our platform to push voices and push complaints that should actually be heard so that they are heard. I stand with Lucky and what he decided to do in this situation and I definitely do commend him for it. There is good news to all this situation, however, I was talking with Lucky and he was able to talk with the devs and then he went onto Twitter and he mentioned the following. Got a confirmation that there is plans to change it, it won't be a complete recolor, just a slight change to respect the culture. I'll be talking about this and more when it'll take effect in my video tomorrow. At the end of the day, I do feel that it is the right decision to adjust the colors of the Gamma Boneki because I just personally learned that you shouldn't be wearing black during Chinese New Year and the fact that the Gamma of the only Chinese New Year reskin in the history of Lumi Legacy is wearing black just say something. With all that being said, I am glad that this is going to change and I do look forward to seeing how it's gonna be. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm Armenti and we lit.